Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope everyone has a wonderful day today and I'm up with Alina Craft and as I said yesterday we were going to do this little jar set now I've got myself organized and I've done my card base and I've done some cutting out so first of all my card base and I'm using the simple story sweet berry pack it's a vintage pack and it's digital you can also buy it as well but i like digital because i can just keep printing and printing you know you don't have to worry about ever running out so this is the sheet that i chose from that digital pack for my background and i've used a piece of dollar tree lace on the bottom this is a four by four square kind of note cards that i'm going to do and of course getting back we're going to do the shaker so i sorted myself out a few little shaker bits there we go i've got some solid red white and some clear abalone and some of those gorgeous little yellow rhombus which are you know some of my favorite sequins and uh i think that's what i've used isn't it yeah solid white solid red just a little sprinkle to get the flavor of strawberries so those are what are going to go inside of my shaker now then i have cut a base now some people don't know how to do a shaker so you know i'll just take my time and do it now in your die set you will get two um frame type dies let me just get those so that you're not confused you get this one and you also get this one so this is your base die and then to cut your frames you put both of these together one inside the other use a little bit of adhesive tape to hold them down so that when you run them through um, you're getting an accurate size frame and your die isn't sliding all over the place so that is the base I always cut my shaker foam out of Dollar Tree foam and I was sent um, a pack of foam boards from Reedy Board so thank you very much for that if you're watching and they also sent me um, in the box a sheet of uh, craft covered foam board so I'm going to have to show you that at some point but it's really lovely and it's waterproof so there it is cut out of Dollar Tree foam board and that glues onto there now this is the order that I do my shaker in so I will glue my foam onto my base that's that order and then with my frame this is your fancy bit that goes on top but under that will go your acetate so if your acetate doesn't thoroughly cut out you can just track around it with your scissors and it will just you know really easily cut out for you and so as I was saying this is the order that I do it I make my window frame first and then I do these two together and then my frame will go on top and that's the order that I prefer to do it in I know all sorts of people will do it differently but this is the way that I prefer so I've already got some of my Alina craft tape on the base there and I'm going to peel that off so you just have to bear with me while I get my fingernails if you've got any overhanging pieces now is the time to tuck them in I'm just taking my time at any point you need to pause to have a look and then I can see I've got a little bit of tape hang over there so I'm just going to tuck that in now you need to line it up with the acetate make sure you're in a good lighted position to do it and if you've got any overhang of acetate when you're making um, a shaker just don't worry about it really because when you do it this way I'm going to show you now what you can do because you've just done the frame if you have a look you can see because acetate is a plastic I'm trying to get a good picture see that it will stretch under pressure so I know a lot of people have mentioned you know that they get little bits that hang out when you do that go in with the scissors track just underneath your die cut because you don't want to cut into that and remember that your acetate piece is going to your foam frame so you're not going to see where you've trimmed 
and you can just trim that off so that you get a nice edge and as you can see there you know it's uh, it's hanging again so you know you can leave it hanging out if you want to it doesn't matter but if you want a, a neat edge just gently track around with your scissors and get that off and then you'll have no acetate hanging out right so I'm just going to leave mine like that I think I've got a little bit sticking out there so I'm just going to go around there there right so now you've got a nice neat little window frame I'm just going to pop that there for a second while I move those little bits that I just cut out because I don't want to get those stuck onto anything right so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my Dollar Tree foam on top of my cardstock base and I'm using Dollar Tree glue and I will tell you now I have ordered myself a rather large set of art glitter glue because as you know me and my humidity and I did ask a couple of weeks ago what people thought were the best glue so I've gone with art glitter but it hasn't been delivered yet I ordered it from um, Amazon and uh, I chose to wait a couple of weeks because I wanted weather across the country to be to be warm because I've heard people say that if it gets cold it ruins uh, the glue so wherever it's being dispatched from you know we've got spring summer well we're in summer now aren't we we've got summer weather so I hope it gets here in good condition right so now we've got that now it's really important when you make a shaker and if you're using glue to stick your frame down that you wait until it's completely dry if you don't and you've got any little bits that have screws out when you pop your sequins in your sequins are going to stick to your glue so at that point I'm going to pause while that just dries for a couple of minutes right so I'm fairly confident that that is dry enough now and so my little bit of sprinkles that I've already mixed up the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put those in and although it's nice to you know go over the top with your sprinkles always kind of get them flat because you're going to want them to move around in your shaker so you know kind of spread them around a bit so that your acetate when we put that down in a minute will go on flat and then of course if there's room for these things to shake on top of each other afterwards uh, then that's fine so got those few there and I think I can get all of them in so let's just go for that all right and I'm just going to scoot those around now of course as everybody does know I hope sequins are static not only are sequins static see that sticking to my fingers but your acetate is also static and that's where you have to exercise your caution so there we've got our bits down and they are lying relatively flat in there just going to move that one All right so we've got our lovely little bits and we've got our window now the nice thing about dollar tree glue is that it will stick to acetate it just takes a few minutes for that to work so i'm just going to put a layer down um, even though you've got a thin edge here try to get it to your outer edge so that when you pop your acetate on it's not going to squeeze all the way across the inside of your window and one of the things I find as well is that if you just wait for a, a minute not too long for that to sort of almost dry slightly and then lay your window on um, it can be a lot quicker too so here is our window now here's where you have to be careful so let's go down and then the glue is still wet so we can slide it around take a good look at it all the way around now you can put a weight on top of this 
and I will normally use one of my um, plastic cased Sizzix dies you know the old steel rule and uh, weight it down so that there's no gaps but that's gone on there reasonably nicely and while it's drying I'm also going to pop the lid and the bow on so this is the lid that comes with your die set and I've cut my bow in red so I'm just going to very gently go along the top edge of this just a little bit on the side there avoiding those little holes and then I'm going to pop this down now I want to get it straight I'm just going to turn that towards me to make sure I've got it on the top edge yes I did and I'm going to glue the little tiny bow on top so I'm just going to put a little bit there and just go along that bit there we go so I've just literally just gone across the straight piece there and then that you just slide into position so I'm just going to let that dry for a couple of minutes and I'll be right back okay so this is almost dry so I'm just going to pop it on top of the card but isn't that pretty so I'm just going to flip that over and I'm going with glue all the way around I'm going to go across there a little bit and just under there where my finger caught and we're going to pop it down onto our card and we're going to do it the right way around I just want to put it in the centre and of course a perfect finishing thing for a card like this would be a little tag tied around the jar almost near that bow and that is what I've got for you today you can see it does shake <laughs> but it's still damp so I'll just squish it around there but isn't that pretty really quick and easy to make but as I said you know you could add some twine in there you could thread it through the little dots of the jar lid and have a tiny little sort of happy birthday or a thank you tag hanging off the edge of it but really pretty and of course if you want to go into greater detail you can take the lid of your jar place it down on a, a piece of cardstock and draw around it and cut that out and then your holes will be filled in on the jar with a different colour but I just love that that just screams of summer doesn't it see how close we can go there you go just really pretty love that right I thank you so much for joining me today and I will be up yes with Alina Craft tomorrow I'll just straighten my paper up there and uh, we're going to be doing that greenhouse so yes greenhouse I'm going to call it a sort of vintage Victorian greenhouse because as somebody pointed out to me yesterday because I hadn't quite had enough sleep but I did have two cups of coffee is that what I was talking about was an arbor yeah and I'm not talking about an arbor now I'm talking about a Victorian vintage style greenhouse so that's what we're going to do with that circus tent die tomorrow right have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below Bye.